I definitely resonate with that. And that's why my brothers and my dad's like my role model is that mm. shit things have happened to them the most, but they're the best people that have come out of it. And then my other mm. brothers are like, you know, had you know, issues, like issues, substance abuse, but like doing dumb stuff, um, not being able to hold down a job, whatever. It's like, oh, because I, because mum, mum ruined my life. It's like, yeah, she did a shit job for you. She, she, did, she did a good number on you, but it's you, your fault now. It's your fault that this is happening. You're the one that's mm. keeps mm. manifesting this problem into real mm. life. You could have just, I would say, right. not suppress it, but you could have, you know, come above it. You could have done something above it and, you know, just so, dealt with it instead of just mm. crying all the time. Um, and that's, that's kind of why I have like an emotional shield in, in life is that I, I mean, I just crying's good. Crying's, crying's good. good. Crying's amazing. Um, crying's really good. Um, and that's a big thing is cause you get to let it all out. But for me, I'm very bad at ga- gauging emotion and like understanding emo- emotion in a situation. Um, that's why I'm, I feel like I'm very analytical is because I'm not saying I'm a robot, but if someone's doing something because of an emotional thing, I'm like, what? Most of the time, um, or mm. I won't be able to. It's, if I see someone crying, I smile because, <laughs> like, it just—it's hard for me to gauge that. It's hard because I have this protective shield um, that I have. I'm not saying I'm an asshole. Like, if you knew me, you know, you know. Um, but if someone was <laughs> crying, I'd probably laugh. If something a bad situation happened, I'd probably laugh because, <laughs> um, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm crying and you're just laughing at me. <laughs> Especially, I mean, at my, Megan would hate me saying this, but she cries Uh-oh. all the time. And I'm oh, just, no. When she that, cries, I just smile. Yeah, yeah. And I just smile at her because oh. I'm just like, find it funny. No. No. Do the whole. I, Come here, honey. I tell, I tell her hey, she hates it because I tell her that she cries too much, um, which I shouldn't do. Oh, be told. How long have you been going out with it for? Almost five years. So you know what I mean? Like that's it's, oh it's bad. Oh my god, you're lucky you that cannot... it lasted five fucking minutes, let alone five years. You cannot come to me, I'm telling you now, can't come to me for emotional situation. Okay, no, no, I don't want to rule that out. That's bad. I will listen to you and I help you figure out things in a logical sense, but with a well... fucking smile on my face if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's something if it's something like oh, I don't know how to feel. Don't I? I can't. I can't help you with that because I. I'd be like, just, just do it. Just shut up. Just, just to deal with it. Whereas someone will listen to you and let you feel listened and let you kind of spew it out. Whereas I'm trying to figure out, like, calculate the next, the next move, the next step, and the next thing that can, you know, um, like help you with that that issue. You know what I mean? As opposed to letting the emotions talk. 